All right, we at the premier campsite at Little, I'm sorry, Flick Creek. And I just want to show you what they have here at their premier campsite. It's a little closed off from the pond or the lake. But I'm going to check it, show you all what we they got here. Well, at least they got fire pits or fire rings. They got two tor uh, party potties. I'm sorry, three party potties. Shows you how much this area has been used. I mean, they got pine needles on top of the of the uh, tables. It's well open, I know that, I see. And it's closed off, kinda. Each little spot has a little slough. See, they got spigots, so maybe we can have water. Water is the main source. All right, they got water. They got three to uh, jolly pods. Yeah, it's almost five o'clock. It's getting dark, and I'm trying to get this videos out. And I just want to show you another location where we can have this. There's another Johnny Pod right there in the middle. Some people love that view of the lake or the bayou or the pond or wherever you want to call it. Now, this is much closer. You basically, you're reaching out your hand to grab your your uh, your friend's chicken off the table. And there's another water spigot. If I'm not mistaken, they provide you some garbage cans and you just put the garbage cans on the edge of the road or edge of this road and they will pick it up as they clean. There's a campsite, not a campsite. It's a little muddy, so yeah, you might have a little problem with mud if you don't like mud on your shoes. Here's another nice little campsite, and there's a little spot you can launch your by uh, canoe or your, your kayak or boats, whatever you have if you want to go fishing. Now, uh, I might have a problem with this place. Only problem I might have with this place is the mud. All that clay. If it rains, you will get wet. And remember, folks, certain campsites shouldn't be camped at. And I'm pre-warning you, a site like this it will be a no-no. Do not camp here. The water runs downhill. And don't forget to look for... Widowmaker, see there's a Widowmaker. Even though it's winter, most of the trees are dead or sleeping. You don't know if that's sleeping or dead. Another water spigot. Looks like almost every other camp has a water spigot. So water is not a problem. Bathrooms are right here. We have Johnny Pods. This would be a different type of environment for us. More, uh, it's closed, but we're not open, but we have all these beautiful trees. And here's another spot where you can launch your boat. Another danger sign, but it's safe on the other side of that hill. So if we do, if you do go camping out here, make sure you look out for all the warning signs of flash floods if it rains. See, this is a nice flooded area. 
all that water and look for the tell tines of your leaves and your uh, water flows but there's my truck right there so it's pretty big and a lot of camping spaces there's the only difference we have more woods and less lake to look at but the scenery is beautiful out here Here's another spot I will not recommend to camp. What's some artifacts? Let's go down here and look at some artifacts. Water spigot. So I don't think water is going to be a bad source. They got a water spigot in Mosaic camp. It's a bucket. I will not camp here. Beautiful, but uh, no, I won't camp here. Too much water flow right in the middle of the camp, and your water will put your. We'll, we'll put your fire out. All right, let's take a look at the rest of this this uh, primitive camping area. You do have to have your license to go fish, so if you plan on fishing, make sure you get your local fishing license, because I've been here before. And you got to get your license right around this little gas station right outside the park. There's a mini town right outside of the park. So if you need supplies, they're right out the door. Here's another nice little camping area. Bunch of beautiful camping areas. And I'm back at the road. Now this road used to be open to the other side, but it looks like they blocked it with a gate. You should be able to keep going. And there's like a little round area, and this is where one of my nieces caught a catfish. And the gate's closed. Usually this gate's open. Yeah, you just go around and there's a little thing. Now, to get to the pivot, you gotta go in this clay road but that's it this is the primitive camping area for camping it's not that big but it's big enough to house about at least a hundred here I'm guessing a, a hundred you can count how many benches you have in every little spot you can see here you could put almost a whole rendezvous right here if we want to I'm just saying, and this is uh, Flint Creek in Mississippi. All the information will be linked below. Don't forget to go look at the descriptions at the bottom of the video. All right, I got this video in before it got too dark. <clears throat> And that's when we're back at the beginning where we started at. So this is, I think, is big enough to house the whole rendezvous. We had a hundred people. This should be able to, to do the trick. That's if there's too many people and no one wants to camp at the other place, Little Black Creek. Ain't that right, Dark?